वन सो एज यू रिमेंबर वी डन द थ्री वीडियो ऑलरेडी फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी आर फॉलोइंग दिस फाइल इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस इज द डिज़ाइन एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ ए स्मॉल कंपनी नेटवर्क वी हैव द थ्री फ्लोर सो वी डिज़ाइन द टोपोलॉजी एंड वी क्रिएटेड द वी लैन ऑलरेडी वी डन इन द वीडियो नंबर वन टू थ्री यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो दिस इज ए वीडियो नंबर फोर इन दिस वन वी आर गोइंग टू डू द रिमेनिंग थिंग सो वॉट आई विल डू हियर यू कैन सी I have here the topology. I am taking the first floor, so we need to assign this port, whatever the port. Already VLAN we created. If you want to check, you can write show VLAN brief. With this one, you will get the VLAN information. In the first floor, if you see here, in the first floor you should have the three VLAN, logistic, reception, store. That is ten, twenty, thirty. Ten, twenty, thirty. You have three VLAN, but no computer is connected to this VLAN. So now we need to move that one. so if you see this is the vlan 30 and this is a vlan 10 right so i will move this here this is the access point we can keep in vlan 1 so if you see this is the pc 4 5 6 and the printer this green color is uh, we are representing this green color as a vlan 10 and this ip schema we are going to use and this is a vlan 10 so now if you see we need to put this port whatever this three devices we have that port should go in the vlan 10 if you see here we don't have any port here now we need to move so we will do that one first i will check if you see this is the f0 by 7 you can see here here if you see this is f0 by 7 this one is a f0 by 8 and this printer is a f0 by 9 so 7 till 8 so we can write this way i will go here and let me go to the global configuration mode and now i can write interface range F zero by seven dash nine, right? I have nine. Uh, this is a one zero by seven, zero by eight, zero by nine. So three interface we have. So I can use this uh, range command to select this three interface. F zero by seven, F zero by eight, F zero by nine, and press enter. And then we are going to write switch port mode axis to make this port axis. Then after that switch port axis. vlan which vlan this one is vlan 10 so i will put vlan 10 here so with this command we put this three devices in the vlan 10 now we need to do the remaining so if you see here what we have here you have vlan 20 and this three devices you have so you need to check this one is f0 by 4 and you can see f0 by 5 and you can see this is f0 by 6 so 4 5 6 Four, five, six. We need to put. So what I will do here? I will select this one. You need to write interface range f zero by four till six. Okay. You need to write here four, five, six. Four, five, six. So you need to write here interface range f zero by four to six. Means you selected this interface. How many interface? Four, five, six. Three interface you selected. Starting this one, ending this one. and in between whatever you have that is selected so 4 5 6 3 are selected now you need to move this interface in vlan 20 so what we will write we will write switch port mode vlan 20 we can do first we can change this as a axis for security purpose we are ch changing this one so no one should negotiate as a trunk and also we don't want to send the dtp packets that's why we are making this switch port mode axis then switch port axis vlan what is the vlan that one 20 okay this one is also done after that what we will do we need to do this one vlan 30 so you can check this is a f0 by 1 you can see here this is f0 by 1 this is f0 by 2 and here this printer is f0 by 3 so 1 2 3 1 2 3 so we will exit this i will write interface range to select the multiple interface f0 by 1 dash 3 with this command we will select the three interface then we will write switch port mode axis and then switch port axis vlan which vlan this one vlan 30 okay so now we can exit and i can save the configuration so what i done here i move this computer in vlan 30 this one in vlan 20 this one is vlan 10 i save the configuration now what i need i want to check so i will write show vlan brief just to verify and do this save also because sometime we will have the packet tracer issue or power issue so we will lose this one so we if we save like this whenever we are doing after some time press this save 
so it the topology will be same you will save it will save and you no no need to do again okay so if you see here this is a switch which okay we, i think we done this in wrong switch the configuration whatever we done that we done in the wrong switch i think because this is the switch where we need to do okay here is correct so why we open that one okay no issue whatever we done that we done in correct switch only by mistake this was open i think so let it be close this one is the first switch so everything is good here and also here let me put sw1 so it will be no confusion and if you see here if you want to check what vlan we have and what interface we have in that vlan you need to write show vlan brief so you can see this is a three vlan we have and three interface we added here okay and after that what we can do here we can uh, look here you have this interface in this vlan everything is okay and uh, you can see this is the vlan 10 and this interface what you have 7 8 9 and you can see this is a vlan 20 interface 4 5 6 and this is a vlan 30 interface 1 2 3 so this one is good everything is good here we configure the vlan we attach that one and we need to do one more thing this interface which is connecting to the router f0 by 10 we need to configure that one as a trunk so here what i will do i will go to that interface i will write interface f0 by 10 then i will write here switch port mode trunk because we need to carry the multiple vlan traffic so we need to configure this port as a trunk here we are going to do the inter vlan rate later so i configure this here okay any confusion no confusion basic thing we done in the first floor router we will do configuration later no issue you uh, now you look only switching part later we will do routing part also so here this switch i can change the name as a sw2 and here we can do the configuration already we created the vlan here also now what we need to look we need to look uh, like vlan 40 you have so whatever the interface are in the vlan 40 so this is the vlan 40 you can check the interface f0 by 2 one pc and another one is f0 by 3 and another one is f0 by 1 so 1 2 3 1 2 3 is there in the vlan 40 so what i will do here i can use this type i can do the configuration here first i will go to the switch and i will change the name as a, this one sw2 then interface range f0 by 1 i think right one you have or what you have here f0 by 1 you can see here what it is showing f0 by 1 f0 by 2 and this one is f0 by 3 so we can write here interface range f0 by 1 dash 3 okay and then we can write switch port mode axis just press tab key automatically it will do the autofill then switch and switch port axis just i am writing acc and press tab key automatically it will come switch port axis which vlan this one vlan 40 so i put this port are in vlan 40 these ports i put this one in vlan 40 now we need to look this one if you see this is the f0 by 4 and this one is f0 by 5 and this one is f0 by 6 so 4 5 6 should be in the vlan 50 so what i will do here i will go here i will exit and i will write interface range f0 by 4 dash 6 we have 4 dash 6 right 4 this is f0 by 4 f0 by 5 5 or what 5 and this is f0 by 6 so f0 by 4 5 6 so with this command we will select and after that we will write here switch port mode axis switch port mode vlan what is that vlan 50 so vlan 50 here we will write sorry i done some mistake here switch port mode switch port not mode switch port axis vlan what is the number 50 okay so i put that one also i am saving the configuration so this one also i done now i need to do this one this one we will keep in the vlan one only later we will see because i think nothing is mentioned about that axis point the access point should be in which department they, they did not mention so anyhow we will see at last that one so now we need to look the this one finance department so vlan 60 we need to check so if you see this is f0 by 7 f0 by 8 f0 by 9 so this is a 7 8 9 this three interface 
so I will go here I will write here again interface range f0 by 7 till uh, 7 or what you have 7 8 9 right I think this one 7 8 9 so here what we can do f0 by 7 8 9 now I will write switch port mode axis then switch port axis which VLAN this one VLAN 60 then save the configuration that's all this switch configuration is also done we assign the VLAN we configure the VLAN we assign the port if you want you can make sure that one we done correctly or not so here what you will do you will press here control Z you will write show VLAN brief and here you can see the VLAN 40 we have these ports are in the 40 you can cross check here this one 40 1 2 3 and you have the VLAN 50 here if you see this is a VLAN 50 and port 4 5 6 are present in that one 4 5 6 and then you have VLAN 60 you have port 7 8 9 so you can see 7 8 9 okay so this switch configuration is done now we need to go for the third floor and do the same thing here we have only two VLAN so we can do very fast you need to first of all I will put the correct name here we can say this is the switch 3 okay and I will uh, log in here and we are going to do the configuration so what we need to do here I can move this here so we can see first of all I need to check whatever VLAN we created enable password we done so I put the enable password I am writing show VLAN brief to check that one I have VLAN 70 and 80 if you see this one so here if you see this is the F0 by 2 this one okay and and one more thing here we forget to configure this F0 by 10 as a trunk port so if you want to check show interface trunk you can type so nothing is showing means we did not configure so let's do this after that we will go to the third floor so here I wrote uh, I will go in the global configuration mode then interface F0 by 10 now I am inside this port now I need to make trunk uh, switch port mode trunk we use this command to make the trunk after that you can write show interface trunk so you can see still it is not having trunk because the other side is down when this port is up you will get the trunk but we configure already if you want to check you can write show run and you can check the port f0 by 10 where you have f0 by 10 and you have this configuration switch port mode trunk and you can save the configuration wr to save the configuration this is the switch Two, that is a layer 2 switch and present on the second floor now we will go in the third floor and here also if you see this interface F0 by 1 which is coming from router we need to configure as a trunk so I can do like that I will go interface F0 slash 10 I can write switch port more trunk to configure that interface as a trunk after that we can look here this is a uh, F0 by 2 3 and here is 1 1 2 3 means I can say 1 2 3 port should be in the VLAN 70 so I can write here interface range F0 slash 1 D till 3 switch port mode trunk switch port mode axis and then switch port axis which VLAN VLAN 70 okay and I save the configuration so this one is done now I need to do this one so if you see F0 by 4 and you have F0 by 5 and what you have here F0 by 6 so 4 5 6 this three interface we need to work so what I will do here I will move here interface range F0 by 4 F0 by 4 5 6 so F0 by 4 6 switch port mode axis and then switch port mode switch port axis VLAN which VLAN we want to give we need to put that VLAN switch port mode VLAN 80 okay so this one we done and we will save the configuration any confusion here just I put this interface whatever the interface here that is uh, interface if you see 4 5 6 I put in the VLAN 80 and you can verify you can write show VLAN brief and you can see here you have two VLAN here 70 and 80 if you see these ports are in the VLAN 70 F0 by 1 F0 by 2 F0 by 3 F0 by 1 2 3 and another one is F0 by 4 5 6 so this is everything is good here no issue right so what we done we done the some configuration at least and here if you see we done this one we done this one 
we done this one okay after that what we need to do we need to configure the ospf and assign the ip address to the device then we need to configure the dhcp so now uh, we will uh, stop this video video number four in the video number five we are going to do this one okay point six we can start in the video number five else this video become very lengthy so let me stop this 